Nick, thanks for inviting us up to see everything today. It looks great. I just wanted to talk to you about what was your vision for the brand when you came to see us? Yeah, I'm, I'm delighted with what we've uh, ended up producing in the real world. But yeah, the, the, the vision was a more modern builder's warehouse, a yeah. more uh, up-to-date, relevant uh, way to source building materials. I so. remember the, the, the thing that really got us was the idea that you were valuing time as well as money. And so that was, I think, led us to our kind of proposition around building supplies on demand. Uh, the, the building supplies on demand was, was you know, a stroke of genius because it really encapsulated what we, um, what we were trying yeah. to, to go for. And we've, we've led with that. For me, it was all about how do, we make, how do we bring that alive for people so every point of interaction with that brand, they understand it's trying to save time and money and it is on demand. And so we, I think we went one step further than click and collect with the lock and load proposition. That's right. We, we, we had many focus groups in developing the concept and one of the things that the trade identified when we talked about a click and collect style service was that that felt very retaily. So we tried to differentiate that particular aspect of the service by giving it a different name yeah. and you, you came up with lock and load. The other big leaps we've made is, is we've gone two feet in the river on building an omni-channel business. Yeah. It's, it's a fully omni-channel retail platform. So that's one single source of all the customer data, all the transaction yeah. data, uh, and all the, all the product file, uh, which means we can deliver a consistent set of prices, a consistent yeah. set of services at every touch point, whether yeah. it's a kiosk, a phone, or a web visit, or It should always a, feel a like a consistent visit. experience. Completely consistent. Yeah. The brand has also uh, had to take on that challenge. Yeah. It's got to be as vividly understood yeah. in the real world as yeah. online, as it is on the kiosk, as yeah. it is in print. Now that's, that's an enormous challenge and that's, that's something that's been really, um, really huge success. You know, that one of the things that we get a lot of positive remarks on is, is, is the credibility, the look of the brand yeah. and, the, and the feel of it. It looks serious and it works in all environments. When being asked to create something of this size, um, one of the key design challenges for a designer is to create something that can hold its own in the physical space up at this scale and down small uh, in the digital space. And the forward slash really sort of um, unlocked a whole design solution for us that inspired us to roll out a unique set of assets. So everything from the bespoke typeface we created, the unique iconography, the photography that shows builders in a much more modern light, the straightforward tone of voice and colour palette were all created with the intention of streamlining this heavy bricks and mortar category taking it into the modern world and appealing to a new breed of builder. The idea for the branch shop was to build everything out of the materials that the builder's actually really familiar with. Yeah, we've had a lot of really positive feedback on, on these, the environment that we've built there. It's not too uh, retail-y, not yeah. too finished and polished. It's, it, we've, we've made it look and feel like the environments they're used to working in and that, that works really well for us. And the tone of the whole store when you get in I think works really well the sort of we wanted to go for the efficiency in terms mm. of personality and tone so we're not having that builders banter kind of thing it's a serious business because we're talking yeah. to a different breed of builder the sort of serious professional builder that's um, right there's a, there's a thread through everything which is succinct efficiency punchy, efficiency some of these key phrases we use yeah. for elements of, of the business are are really well chosen. Was there a moment during this process where it just clicked for you and you thought this is this is it this is right? When we all saw the new version of the built logo with the forward slash on the on, on the, the slate background it just suddenly looked a more serious yeah. brand and it looked like something we could um, not only evolve but we could run with for a long time and that, that uh, would stand up against you know, national players. Yeah. So yeah, and we, we've we've had a lot of uh, very positive feedback about you know, the professional look and the veneer of the business. How's the brand been received already? Really delighted with uh, the customer response to it. We 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 get really great feedback from customers, uh, both anecdotally. But we've we've done a we did a net promoter score survey before Christmas, and we we had an outcome of 47, which is you know much higher than I expected. Uh, couple of months in but it really validates that customers find something very appealing in what we do right. our scheduled delivery and and high availability model at great prices customers really reinforced that those were um, the things that they, they they liked about us um, yeah and we'll, we'll have over a thousand customers have come through the branch by uh, by the end of Q1 right. so uh, yeah, it's been a really great start definitely 
great. really pleased with the result. Yeah. Good. It's iconic. We get pointed out. Uh, it gets pointed out that yeah. we're not just built. We're built with the forward slash.